performing a power steering flush on a BMW X3. And here's the bottle for power steering. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that it's clean. A lot of times these can tend to seep some fluid out, so wipe around the outside of the housing to make sure that you remove any dirt. Because you don't want to contaminate the reservoir. So wipe any fluid that's been seeping out clean. And this is also how you would check your level. This would be the full level, this would be the min level, and basically I'm going to be using CHF 11S, which is a hydraulic fluid, and check on your cap so you know what type of fluid to use and make sure it corresponds with your vehicle. I'm going to be using a Mako vacuum brake bleeder, and this is also a suction tool, and I'm going to use this to remove the fluid from the reservoir. Now you can use a hand pump as well. You can see the fluid. my CHF 11S and I'm going to go ahead and refill the reservoir And I'm going to use this entire bottle. So I'm going to stop there where it's almost full. Just see how much I have left. So I'll have enough to refill the, refill the reservoir again. So I'm using about half of the container. And now I'm going to put the cap back on, start the vehicle. I'm going to turn the steering wheel all the way to the left and right. And that's going to mix up the fluid using the pump. I'm going to drain it one more time from the reservoir and then refill it with fresh fluid. And so start the vehicle and with it running, go all the way to the right and all the way to the left. And this is also how you would bleed your power steering system if you have just done work on the system. And shut the vehicle off. Go ahead and uh, suck out the rest from the reservoir. So it basically gets two flushes and one you want to go through that entire bottle. Now you can use a hand pump. I'm going to fill up with fresh fluid up to the correct level. So almost the entire container, just a tiny bit left. Let's check my level. So you just have to put the cap on and I'm right at the top. So I could actually 
run the vehicle one more time, which is what I'm going to do, and take a tiny bit more fluid out and then just top off until I am at the um, end of this container of my CHF 11S. But this is the procedure on how to change your power steering fluid. Now if you have ATF, it's usually uh, Dextron uh, 5 or 6, and uh, you can go ahead and just suck out uh, your fluid from the reservoir and go ahead and do the same procedure using the fluid that is recommended for your BMW. Like on my E46, that's going to be um, Dextron ATF fluid and not CHF 11S. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and uh, you can always shoot me a BMW question. I always try to uh, answer my replies, and uh, maybe I can help you out on your vehicle. You can always make me a video um, of your problem, and I might be able to try to help you out.